To begin using the air seal mode, insert the air seal tri-lumen filtered tube set into the filter receptacle by holding the tri-lumen tubing where it's connected to the filter, oriented upright at the 12 o'clock or top position. Then push the locking lever down until it stops. The IFS will automatically detect the corresponding tube set and launch into air seal mode. For initial insufflation, a Varus needle, Hassan trocar, or other conventional trocars may be used. Insert these as usual and connect them using the supplied single lumen adapter. Set the desired flow rate and pressure value. Press the start button when ready for initial insufflation. Please note, because the air seal system creates a softer, more dynamically pressurized abdomen, it is recommended to insert the air seal port last to minimize tenting. Once the initial insufflation is stabilized, insert the air seal access port. It's important to ensure the black line at the distal tip of the cannula is fully visible inside of the abdominal cavity prior to connecting the tube set. Do not remove the cannula's obturator yet. Close the stopcock. Disconnect both ends of the single lumen adapter and set it aside. Remove the manifold plug from the bullseye manifold on the air seal access port. Connect the now exposed tri-lumen tubing connector to air seal's bullseye manifold by turning the tube set's locking ring clockwise until it's tight. The IFS will automatically launch into air seal mode once the tri-lumen tube set is connected. When stabilized, the display will indicate to remove the obturator. The obturator is easily disconnected from the cannula by squeezing the buttons on either side of the obturator and gently pulling it out of the cannula. Upon removal of the obturator, the IFS will perform a calibration. This will take approximately 8 to 15 seconds. Once complete, an audible tone will sound, alerting the user that air seal mode is active and ready for use, and a green bar will appear on the IFS screen showing air seal active. Note, it's important not to insert instruments or press on the abdomen during this calibration process. Once air seal mode is active, the flow rate is set to auto flow control and the smoke evacuation can be set to either low at 3 liters per minute or high at 8 liters per minute. To revert back to single lumen insufflation from air seal mode, remove the sound cap from the top of the air seal access port if used. Insert the air seal access port obturator into the air seal access port cannula. Connect the single lumen adapter to the lure lock of the port where you will introduce CO2. Disconnect the air seal tri-lumen filtered tube set from the air seal access port. Close the manifold plug of the air seal access port. Connect the air seal tri-lumen filtered tube set to the single lumen adapter and open the stopcock for CO2 to resume. There is no need to press stop and then start on the IFS unit. The CO2 will continue to flow during the switchover process and the IFS will automatically detect when the tri-lumen filter tube set has been disconnected and the single lumen adapter has been connected. At the end of the procedure, press stop. Air seal mode needs to complete a calibration prior to shutdown. Follow the screen prompts and wait for final calibration to complete prior to disconnecting the filtered tube set from the IFS unit and powering off the IFS unit. Please proceed to the next module for more information. <music>